If you like PC gaming, then you probably know one of the most important accessories to PC gaming, at least as far as peripherals are concerned, is a gamepad, or as some people like to call it, a controller. Using a controller when you are gaming on a PC gives you a more similar feel to playing on a console, although the experience is still enhanced past the console experience, you still get all of the benefits of gaming on a PC, like the enhanced graphics, a higher frame rate, as well as having mods to further the life of any given game. And there's a lot of people who, for whatever reason, seem to struggle with gaming on Linux. It's one of the most common things I see people saying about it, that they don't use Linux because they need to game. Now, I don't really know what all of this is about. I'm not what you would call a hardcore gamer, but I do a fair bit of gaming, and all of my games work fine on Linux. So I'm not really sure what all of this... Uh, people saying games don't work on Linux is about. Maybe it's some people that just don't know what you need to do to get some games working on Linux, or maybe they're paid Microsoft shills who are trying to undermine Linux and keep its market share very small. Either way, I'm going to show you guys today what you need to do in order to get a gamepad working on Linux. Now, I'm using Gentoo, of course, so some of these steps are not going to be necessary for people who are using binary distros or distros that just have a generic Linux kernel. But if you're using uh, Gentoo, then of course the first thing we're going to have to do is configure our kernel to be able to use a gamepad. So go ahead and enter into your kernel configuration, and we're going to want to go under device drivers and input device support and you're going to want to check this box here for a joystick interface and then this should reveal this section here the joystick slash gamepads go into that and then you want to enable whichever type of gamepad you're using there's obviously a few different brands generic ones uh, what I've got here is an Xbox 360 gamepad this is a USB one um, I've had this for many, many years. This is probably almost a decade old at this point, uh, kind of dating myself there. But for the Xbox gamepad, you're going to want to enable this option, this option, uh, as well as this option. You might not need the rumble support if you don't actually want to use the rumble feature of your Xbox, but I like that feature. I like getting that little bit of uh, haptic feedback. So go ahead and set that up. And then of course you're going to want to save your kernel configuration. And then you're going to want to rebuild your kernel and then reboot into it. So once you've got that all set up, uh, you're pretty much done. There may be a couple other things that you need to do. Uh, if you notice that your Xbox controller or PlayStation controller, whichever, isn't working for your particular user, then you might need to add your user to the input group. So if I do this groups command right here, you'll see that I am in the input group. So if you run that command and you don't see your user in there, go ahead and add them. So once you've done this, uh, your controller is going to work for probably 90% of games out there. Uh, it definitely is going to work for all of the native Linux games. And I've had it working for most of the Proton games. There are a couple of games though uh, that don't seem to really work with it, but there is a way that you can fix that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Steam real quick. And I'm actually going to switch to big picture mode just because it'll probably look better on the, uh, on the video and then of course it'll obviously show you that the controller is indeed working so i just pressed my um xbox button in the middle to go into big picture mode and now i'm able to navigate with my controller probably hear the joystick there all right so the settings that we're going to want to go into you want to go into this little gear here for the settings and then go into your controller settings 
And you're going to want to check these three boxes. So guide button, focus, esteem. Um, that one's probably already there. You're going to want to do the Xbox configuration support. And you're also going to want generic gamepad configuration support. Now, I was reading up a bit about this particular setting. And I think that this uh, generic gamepad config applies more to people that are using something like an Xbox 360 controller, I guess because it's kind of old. It's now considered a generic gamepad. Um, not 100% sure about that. I don't have an Xbox One gamepad or any other gamepads to test it with. Uh, so you might want to try it without this checkbox if you have a newer gamepad, but then if you find it's still not working, just go ahead and enable the generic gamepad uh, configuration. And then for some specific games, uh, you need to go in and set it to work as well. So if we look at one like uh, Grand Theft Auto, for example, you wanna go into manage games, and then you want to go into controller configuration, wait, not that one, controller options. And then you want to change. So then under your controller application options, you're going to want to change this to forced off and then hit okay. And then you should be able to launch your game and have the gamepad working. So that is a guide, again, really easy. Anyone saying that you can't do this gaming on Linux, you just gotta watch a video like this or read a blog post. There's plenty of information out there about how to do it, but really easy to get your gamepad working. Hope you found this video useful. If it was, be sure to like it and share it with others so they can benefit from it as well. Also, subscribe to the channel with notifications on so that you know when new videos are being released. Bye now.